G'day fellas and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be picking up a series that we left like a few months ago at least. The career of a 99s. You guys seem to like them and there's a lot more positions we need to do. Crow's stupid experiments will still be around. But I do want to do maybe one or two episodes of this, see how it goes and add to the collection. So today I've decided we are going to be doing the quarterback, mate. We have never done a quarterback before believe it or not, in the career of a 99 series. So let's see what we have at quarterback, mate. Tim Folk, Leonard Womack. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like that name. Lucas Fry, Devin Barton, Justin Reynolds. This is a pretty trash class. I think I'm gonna rock with my boy in the first round. Leonard Womack out of Wisconsin. Looking pretty swaggy, I like it. We always want them to have a little bit of swag. He's not generic, but let's give him a slinger three. Sling that rock. All right, so we're going to mess around with this a little bit. Disciplined, can throw the ball away, senses pressure, does not force passes, fights for yards. This man is a living legend. I think we got to go balance for the quarterback style because I don't necessarily want him scrambling, but I don't want him to just stay in the pocket if he's got 99 speed, you know? There he is, Leonard Womack, the 99 overall projected to go pick eight. So this is amazing. Some team, like the Dolphins or the Bengals, is going to get the player of a lifetime. We can see A pluses across the board. That's a no-brainer. Again, I have not interfered at all with the Cardinals. That is not the plan here. Everything but the scouting was on simple. Now we're jumping into the draft. I don't know where we're picking, but we have the 21st pick. So my guess is that our boy has already been taken. Oh, yep, there he is. He was taken fifth overall. The first pick goes to the Giants. They take Eddie Burrow. Willis Tryon goes to the Bengals, so they didn't get a quarterback. The Dolphins didn't get a quarterback. The team who got the best quarterback of all time is... The Tampa Bay Buccaneers. No shit. That is absolutely awesome, mate. I'm so glad to see that our boy got taken somewhere where he can really show out. He's got Mike Evans as well. Just to name one of multiple receivers he could be throwing lasers to. I'm sorry, Jameis. <laughs> he has been playing well, but Leonard Womack is the future, mate. One thing I need to enable as well is career clock. We're going to turn this off. Madden 20 is the first Madden that features this. So all the other experiments that we did with the career of a 99 aren't void, but we didn't get the max out of them. You know what I mean? With no career clock, we are not forced to retire after 15 years, which is good because our guy is what, 21 years old or something? I, I don't think I changed it. Drafted you because we loved your talent and we're excited to have you on the team. But you didn't play much in college and we honestly don't know a lot about you. Oh, trust me, you'll know by the end of this experiment. So we are 21 years old. One year off the youngest. We have Bazooka, Lofting Deadeye, Anchored Extender, Homer Pocket Lead and Set Feet Lead. So we're pretty much goaded is what I'm trying to say. All right, let's go ahead and put on Last Ditch. So this is the part of the experiment where we go ahead and simulate 10 years. From there, we'll get a look at our foundation stats. We'll then simulate until he retires, which will be interesting because the career clock is now off. And at the end, we'll get a look at yards, touchdowns, and everything in between, fellas. So let's jump into it. All right, here we are in 2030. We're still a member of the Buccaneers. We're staying loyal, boys. We have 22 upgrade points. I'm not going to lie, that's a pretty good sign. We're now 31 years old. We have all of our acceleration and speed. We're spontaneous. Every player I've looked at their personality has been spontaneous. I just have a feeling that everybody is spontaneous. So at this point of our career, we have 41,000 yards, 351 touchdowns, 87 picks, averaging 255 yards a game. That's good, but I feel like it would be longer. We've been sacked a lot. Our longest pass is only 76 yards. On the rushing end, we've also gone for 3,400 yards and 19 touchdowns. This would be an interesting experiment to look at with a scrambler as well. I might do that way down the line, but for now, we're just going to do this. To put that in perspective, Tom Brady retired with 80,000 yards, and we are currently on 40,000. I definitely think we can eclipse Aaron Rodgers. 
Eli Manning. We should be able to crack 60 if we're already at 40. From there, it's pretty much just a guessing game. It comes down to how long our player is willing to play. That's really it. You can see that uh, Ed Radovich is the quarterback for the San Diego Aftershocks. The Aftershocks, mate. <laughs> Somebody relocated. So let's go ahead and simulate five more years since we are a quarterback. Wow, they made us retire? It's 2034! I don't know what's going on with these experiments lately, but uh... Hey man, they're really selling us short. I felt like this quarterback could have stuck around for a long time. And was at this point that I was gonna go look at the team, see who our receivers were, go look around the NFL, and now I can't do any of it. <laughs> now I can't do anything. We are fifth at the moment. So one thing to note, Tom Brady is still the GOAT. Finished with 38,000 legacy score. Compared to us, we only had one Super Bowl. He had seven, 10 AFC championships to our three NFC championships and 20 yearly awards to his 22. But I must say though, we played on the Bucks. He played on the Bill Belichick bloody Patriots, mate. We only dropped down to a 96. So even though we are retired right now, we could easily boost ourselves straight back up to 99. We're pretty much maxed out at 99 and still have 18 skill points left, fun fact. Obviously, all of our X factors are gone because we're retired. But on the plus side, at least we can go look at our contract, our stats. Well, there is no contract. We were drafted fifth, had nine Pro Bowl appearances in 15 years. That's pretty surprising when you think about it. I guess the team really does impact what's going to happen. Even though the Bucks made the Super Bowl and the NFC Championship, back in 2020, well, like IRL, they're not the greatest team, let's be honest. So because of that, we probably missed out on a Pro Bowl appearance or two, plenty of Player of the Weeks, best quarterback a whole bunch of years. We're a one-time MVP, though. I think that might be the most shocking thing in this whole experiment. We only won the MVP one singular time time in 2029 in 2029 we put up 4300 yards 40 touchdowns and nine picks nothing too crazy honestly it sounds like the other quarterbacks just had a bad season because in 2031 we put up better numbers the worst part is we did not finish in the top 10 in career passing yards deshaun watson went to the rams philip rivers which is the Chargers, is the aftershocks Lamar Jackson made it. Just blows my mind, honestly, that players that start off for like an 85 end up having better careers because of their teams than a 99 overall. However, we did make it on to the passing touchdowns for a career with 515. We finished ahead of Brett Favre. What more could you want? Did not make passing yards for a season. Did not make passing touchdowns for a season. And from the looks of things, we didn't make it in a game either. Like passing touchdowns or passing yards in a game. Our guy sucks. He sucks, mate. Very disappointing. Leonard Womack, my guy, you did not live up to expectations at all. For our career, we finished with 60,787 total passing yards, 515 touchdowns. 125 interceptions. The longest pass of our career was only 78 yards. And our average pass completion percentage comes in at an amazing 72.4%. I don't know about you guys, but those are some pretty good numbers, mate. And he would have made millions and hundreds of millions of dollars over the course of his career. Were the stats where I would have expected them? Definitely not, not even close. However, we did finish in the Hall of Fame, which is good to see, 34th all time in legacy score. Nothing close to Tom Brady, but still Hall of Famer as you would expect. Don't forget to leave a like on today's video. It lets me know that you guys want to see more of these. And if you are new around here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It helps out a lot. But that being said, fellas, if you made it this far into the video, you are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your day is awesome. And from me personally, I'm out. Peace.